Hi, it's Debbie Williams here and today I want to talk about how you can deal with um, parents that have been abusive to you as a child and not really treated you the way you should have been treated. And sometimes it's hard to let go of the hurt, the pain, the anger and to get on with your life. But I want you to recognise that the longer you hold on to this, the more it's actually destroying you. And by finding a way to reframe their behaviour, it will help release you so that you can get on and have a happy life to look at them and think, there for the grace of God go I. Because one of the things that you can do is if you were to imagine to float into their mind and body to see how they see out through the world, how they talk to themselves, how they feel, would you rather be in their shoes or your own? A lot of times when you do this, you realise that their behaviour feels on the inside so uncomfortable, but it's something that they've got used to. See, a lot of times when people don't know how to react to things or they don't know how to live in their world, it's easier to point the finger at somebody else and go, it's your fault, it's blah, 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 blah. Because if they can make that person cower and then they get a sense of feeling bigger and it feeds them. But it's such an unhealthy way of being. And also that one finger pointed at them, they've got these three pointing back at them. So you need to know that it isn't necessarily about you. It's their model of the world. It's their way of being. They've not learned a better way. And they may have been shown a better way and chose to deny it for whatever reason. That, that's not your job to change them. But many times when I've worked with clients who have had abusive parents, uh, I've got them to, to look at them in a different way and to maybe stop giving them the label of mother or father to call them by their first name. Because to me, to be a mother, you have to earn that right. You have to do the right things. A lot of times, you know, when I'm with my son and he's six years old, old at the moment and I look at him and I think some of the things that my mother said to me, Olive as I call her, I would never say to a child. She said to me at six years of age, you know, I wish you'd never been born. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be like this. This is all your fault. Um, she had ulcerated colitis, Crohn's disease, a colostomy bag, and she chose to blame me for it. Now, one of the reasons I've become a therapist was to get over my issues. And I've realised that, you know, part of what she was doing is her anger, her temper would cause her to say such vitriolic things that she didn't necessarily mean. And anybody that's got anger, if you ask them when they've calmed down, did they mean what they said? They will say, oh no, no, no. Yet yeah, it's too late really, because once they've said it, once it's out there, the person on the receiving end can be mortally wounded by that behavior and take everything, every word they say as gospel. Yet yeah, the person who said it many times can sort of and then sort of forget about it which doesn't necessarily help them grow and again a lot of times when I work with with people with anger I get them to understand the consequences of how their behavior is impacted on other people and once that penny drops we've got the tipping point where we can do some real good work to get them to to grow up and to let go of that um, childlike hurtful behaviour because when you hear kids in playgrounds sometimes they'll say some awful things to other children yet they don't necessarily understand because they're still learning. So I hope this has been useful for you to to look at sort of your relationship with your abusive uh, parent to perhaps change their name slightly to their first name and to disassociate from their behaviour and to look at them with fresh eyes and think there for the grace of God go I. If I was in their shoes, what am I feeling that's causing me to react in this way? And a lot of times it's, it's great insecurity. They've stacked hurt upon hurt. And rather than facing and evolving themselves to, to, to feel better, they've got this hard shell that almost you cannot penetrate because they've bought into this, I'm right and you're wrong. And to free you from that, you need to understand that actually it's their stuff. 
I used to put like a psychic shield between me and Olive so that whatever she said, there was this filter there that stopped it coming through. And you may want to watch my video of how to deal with criticism by using a cat's arse. And there's a few other techniques on there that uh, I use to filter um, some of the abusive words and things that she would do so that it didn't affect me. Anyway, it's great talking to you today. Bye now.